So I'll give you kind of a glimpse of what it looks like. Ooh, got the noodles. This is K-drama style noodles, you guys. Look and at if this. you guys don't know what Korean drama is all about, you can get into it. Got that poutine. Look at that, you got the duck, the rice cake. I'm just gonna use like a ladle. Get some soup for her. Why don't you speak to me? That's all you need. You don't need nothing else. You just gotta feed your girlfriend. So when do I get to be a stay-at-home dad? I want to be a turkey dad. Um, never. <sighs> just work out, stay home, take care of the kids or the fur babies. Well, first of all, <laughs> obviously, we're missing some stuff here. I'm trying to be a stay-at-home for a mom. Can't be both of us staying home. I mean, I'm an adrenaline junkie, so... I want to skydive in Dubai. That's probably really high up there on my bucket list that I want to try one day. Yeah, Dubai is probably on our list. Um, Korea, like the Maldives or um, what's the one with the bungalows? Bora Bora. Bora Bora, that's, Bora, that's Bora. the one, yeah. But her, like, it takes like pretty much a full day to get there. Yeah. Because right, because there's no like direct flights. Yeah. So you gotta go here, you gotta go there. Yeah, take a boat and stuff. Boat, I think. yeah, a boat too. I think I don't even know. <clears throat> so, I know in like American culture, you don't want to really like slurp. You don't want to make too many noises when you eat. But in at least Korean culture, <laughs> man, we stuff our faces. <laughs> so yeah, in Asian culture, you want to make sure you uh, take big, big, big bites and you eat really, really, really fast and loud. Uh, it's just, I guess a compliment to the chef. You know, they really enjoy the food. Um, so, yeah. This is how I eat my noodles. Mmm, this is really good. So, I don't really watch too many mukbangs. Muk? Is from the word mogo, I think, or mogun. Pang is from pangsong, which means broadcast. So it's literally eat, broadcast. I guess the objective eating? isn't to finish it, but you're just kind of eating. This is our first attempt. I don't think we're doing this right. I feel like I need to I feel be like eating we're eating more. Too slow, yeah. yeah, I'm talking too much, but I feel like that's what they do to eat and talk. So our first date, right? We went to uh, scenic Tory Pine. We did this whole like um, hike up to the canyon area. We walked through it. A bunch of like beautiful flowers, beautiful uh, scenery. Um, and then we came around, and then it leads down to the shore. So then we come down, walking on the shore, and then I'm on the inside. So just in case you know, a wave comes and eats her up. It eats me up instead of her, right? So very gentleman of me. Pretty much, I was walking along closest to the beach or to the water and then she had like the you know the beach side and then she kept coming closer to me and then like literally our hands touched and I was like oh you're trying to hold my hand already it's only the first date and then she's like no and then I was like oh she's embarrassed so then I, I grabbed not. her hand right I grabbed I made the first move I, I grabbed her hand apparently and then we 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 uh, held hands you know mm -hmm. for the rest of uh, our little hike on the beach so I don't know, I, I guess we move kind of fast, to hold your but... Hand. I just walked at an angle, and my hand touched his hand. Nah, I feel like she was trying to touch my hands, but... No. Nope. You know, I was looking kind of good then, so... She saw my hands, she wanted it, she went for it. So, yeah. that's my story. I'm gonna stay with it, but... You got a funny story for us? I wanna take a shirt off. <laughs> on a first date. It was hot! We were at the beach. We were hiking. I sure. feel like it's very appropriate. It's hot. I mean, it's not like I wore a tank top. I mean, maybe if I wore a tank top, I guess, then you show off my you arms. Knew where we were going. Yeah, but I was we, like, let me be like, like, let me let me like, be bright. Oh, let me stand so out. Hot. So I wore this I'm like orange, like I wore an orange, bright orange shirt, one of my Nike tops, my Nike dry fits, and you know, I was like, oh, like I didn't I'm think stand it was out. Hot. I know it's pretty but, breezy. Yeah. So yeah, that's the first date. It's pretty interesting. Right. All right, so if you watched our last video, um, we had, or actually the last two videos probably, we had our dogs on there, so it's, we have Ste Stella, and then we have Sophie. Sophie. 
and then <laughs> Jen's had them for almost what six years now. So the girls, um, I got Stella first when I first moved into the city by myself, and my mom was like, "Oh, you're lonely. You should get a dog." And so she got me a dog, a Pomeranian, Tika Pomeranian. So I've had her since 2012, and then she got knocked up. I had Sophie, and I kept Sophie. She had a couple other puppies too, but I kept Sophie. She's a little slow looking, so I was like, I call her Dophy. So if you hear us say Dophy, she's a little She's a little slow, so we call her Dophy, but she's hella cute again. She can't come right here. She's going, she's over there. But she can't come right here. Right here. They're like more like humans. Mm -hmm. They don't know how to dog. Mm -hmm. They don't play fetch or anything, they just sleep and cuddle with you all day. All day. And they sleep, they'll all, sleep day. all day. And then when we come home, they play with us, or they'll be happy for like maybe like two minutes. And then they'll go back to sleep. Yeah, they don't do much. So. That's a really boring story of our dogs. Our life is really boring. We should have like faked our life on YouTube. We should. We were like, oh, we're like secret CIA agents and. We work for the government, and now you guys know we're gonna get fired tomorrow. You're not supposed to know. I'm a, I'm like the girl version of John Wick. Mm. I would kill people for my dog. Mercenary. Yep. All right, we're tapped out. All done. Food coma. Done. All, All right. All you mukbangers out there, props to you guys, cause you guys eat a lot. And this is like nothing compared to what I've seen. Thanks for watching our mukbang episode. Make sure you like and subscribe and turn on the um, notification bell somewhere in there. And um, we upload every Monday, so stay tuned for our next video. Jen Arnold.